It is clear that there is about to be a big digital revolution in FPV. We have three systems that are all battling to take Analog's place on your quad, and in the next few weeks and months there are a number of releases that is going to push things further ahead than we've seen before. Not only do we have what you see here available from the three systems, but we are about to get a new set of digital goggles from HD Zero, we have a VRX module coming from Walksnail for the Avatar HD system, and there is apparently a new release coming from DJI. On top of that, in the last few days we've had two new releases for these two systems here. We have a new box goggle called the Recon from Fat Shark, which brings in a new lower cost option for the Avatar system. And we also have a unexpected release from Emacs releasing a box goggle for HD Zero. This means pretty much all three systems are going to have a high-end option and a low-end option available for users, and it's going to be super interesting to see how all of this develops over the next few weeks and months, and where people end up putting their money. Today we're going to take a quick look at what's been announced from Fat Shark with regards to the new Recon Goggle and take a look at what's been announced by Emacs as well. In the next few weeks I will have my hands hopefully on the new HD Zero Goggle which I'll be talking about on this channel as well as the VRX module for the Avatar HD system and whatever comes from the big three letter company as well. We've also started to see the pricing of VTXs come down and it's clear to see that the digital landscape is beginning to settle and there's going to be quite a battle between these three manufacturers over the next 12 months. On the channel I will be getting in the new HD Zero goggles as soon as possible and I'll be discussing them with you as soon as I can. We'll be getting the new Avatar VRX module as well and we'll be getting whatever comes from them over there. So if you're interested in seeing content on them, please do make sure that you do hit the subscribe button. Anyway, let's take a look at what Fat Shark have released and then hop over to Emacs. Okay, so we have a new goggle from Fat Shark called the Recon HD. This is very much like what they did with the Scout HD for HD Zero when they were working with Carl. However, this is now a goggle designed to be used with the Avatar HD system. It is a very similar shape and size to the Scout HD. It's a box goggle. It offers a single 1080p display, has four built-in patch antennas, offers normal latency mode only for the avatar system so you don't get the low latency mode it has a dvr micro sd card usb c video output and is pretty much a budget version of the original avatar goggle that we've got here and they've got it listed on the Rotor Riot website for just $279. Now, I think that is a decent price for a budget digital FPV goggle. There is no analog on these. There's no analog built in and there's no analog bay. They are going to be Avatar HD only, just like the Scouts were HD zero only. However, I actually think they're going to be a really good option. I was always a massive fan of the performance of the Scout HDs. I think HD zero on the Scout out HDs looks really really good and I would expect the image quality on these new recon goggles for the avatar system to look very very good as well it's always subjective the difference that OLED makes for the image yes it is going to improve it but I would be interested in seeing for myself just how these look compared to the OLEDs because I'll be honest whilst we all like to have a high-end FPV goggle I suspect the image quality on these will be very, very good. It offers all of the other functionality that Avatar HD has. For instance, you still have the DVR, you still have all of the extra features. The only thing that doesn't work on this is the fact that it is limited to 1080p 60. It doesn't have that 100 frames a second mode like we see on these goggles, simply because the display isn't capable of handling it. Now, if you haven't used these style goggles from Fat Shark, they are a lens style goggle. And if you're interested in a review, JB has put up a video on this. They'll put a link to it in the description if you want to see my, my computer's bonging at me. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to see it. But again, he'll give you an overview of the main specs. I'd like to try them. I'm probably not going to order a set right now. I've got other things I need to be spending money on, but if I can get myself a set of them to try, I will give you my thoughts. 
Now, what was also a bit of a surprise this week was this, the new box goggle from Emacs that supports HD0. Now, this was really quite unexpected, and it's interesting to see that we now have another manufacturer getting on board with the HD0 system. We have a box goggle that also can act as a display from the looks of it as well. So it's going to allow you to have an external display or use it as a box goggle. And it's again, good to see another low end option coming in. To be honest, as I've already mentioned, I really did like the Scout HDs, but I'm not sure how long you're going to be able to get these for now. That partnership has ended. Fat Shark are working with Avatar or Walk Snail now or Cadex, whichever one we want to call them. However, these were a really good set of goggles and it's nice to see other manufacturers come on board with it as well. I'm not seeing any pricing listed. Hopefully we'll get more information on them in the near future. I also wouldn't be surprised to see another set of goggles come from another manufacturer. I'm not going to name any names, but there's another big manufacturer that there has been hints that they may actually enter the digital market with HD0 as well. And it'll be interesting to see that as time goes on too. It's clear that the digital FPV landscape is really starting to heat up. And as I've said, it's good to see all of these manufacturers now sort of have a high end and a low end option, especially if DJI keep the V2 goggles around and the Vista, for instance. I also think it is fantastic that we have two manufacturers, HD0 and Walksnail, pushing DJI forward. Whilst there was a lot of noise about the Walk Snail launch, I think Cadex splitting off from DJI could be one of the best things that has happened to the FPV community in quite some time, because not only are they now delivering a very compelling product, they are making sure that DJI does not have the industry for itself. And I don't think we would see what is potentially around the corner without the competition from these two companies. And hopefully this is going to be a good thing for users as we move forward. We should see prices come down. We should see more availability. And with all of the different systems and goggles is going to give an option for everyone. Now, if you find this video interesting, please do let me know in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. It was just a bit of a heads up. As I've said, I don't have the new Recon HD goggle. I'm not really looking to buy it right now. I've just spent so much money on other stuff that's coming that I can't talk about. However, I would like to try them. So I'm going to try and get my hands on them because I do think the Scout HDs were a fantastic goggle for HD Zero. And if they do the same for avatars they did for HD0, that's a really good thing for users. I'm massively excited about the new HD0 goggle that's around the corner as well. And obviously, we can't forget about them over here. We're going to have something to go with this very, very soon too.